Hello, I'm Andrew Fitzgerald from the Infrasoft team and in today's video I'm going to show you how I use the ChatGPT to create PowerShell compliance dashboards that you can use to uh, run reports on your Active Directory. Let's jump straight into it. Okay, so this is how the dashboard looks built using PowerShell with the help of ChatGPT. So what it is, it's a, it's a compliance dashboard that checks the, the main compliance controls in SIST, NIST, SOX, GDPR, and HIPAA. And it will, the PowerShell script will run against your, uh, your selected domain controller and give you a, a report about all of the different controls and if you're compliant or not. So this is how the script looks. If you'd like the script, uh, there's a link in the description. Come to the website and I'll, uh, I'll send it to you, just uh, drop your email address in and I'll send it to you. So when you get the script, you just simply put in one of your domain controllers for it to run against. You can run this from any computer in your network. Uh, you might have to have remote administration tools installed on the computer you're running it from. Uh, you can add your own logo and save it locally, put the uh, path where you want to save it and then your domain. And then when you run it, it's very quick. It will look like this. It will give you stats about your users. You can use the filtering. And how I created it was with uh, a chat GPT prompt. And the prompt I asked, I said, I need a PowerShell script that checks a remote domain controller for compliance with multiple standards. So SIS, NIST, SOX, uh, GDPR, HIPAA, and generate a detailed HTML report. The script should include the following features. And then I just listed all the features I wanted the PowerShell script to check and then generate a HTML report based on the font, colors, uh, the goals charts at the top, the uh, horizontal bar include including the risk percentage and the domain stats. And that generated that uh, PowerShell script. And again, if you want the PowerShell script instead of going through with all the prompts, I'll put a link in the description to my blog. Just simply put in your email address and I'll give you access. You can download the script, play around with it and make any changes. And if there's any other controls that I haven't included and you want added to the script, just let me know in the description on the, uh, on the comments in the YouTube video and uh, I'll add it to the script. Thanks very much. If you liked the video, give us a like and a subscribe.